Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N. Y, and the second word is and, spelled A-N-D, and the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Our next coincidence miracle is uh, another one of mine. Um, I was at a beach handing out cards as you all know by now, I have little business cards that highlight everything about our two books and all the lectures and book signings I've done and some television radio uh, presentations as well. So these little business cards direct them to our website. And I was passing them out. I spent a few hours doing that and answering a lot of people's questions. Uh, it can be a bit tiring uh, passing out of cards and answering a lot of questions and not everybody is satisfied with the answers or not everybody likes the answers. Uh, so I finished after about, I think, about three or four hours uh, at this park. And as I was leaving, I know I went by a place where uh, there was a different person sitting there when I passed out cards. So I was inspired to approach the woman. She was about 25, 26 years old. Um, and I was inspired to hand her a card. Uh, she was uh, really impressed and delighted, and she saw the card, and she said, I can't believe you're giving me this card today. She said, I, my whole life is, is, is a disaster. I've had a terrible week. Uh, the car broke down. I lost my job. I've got some other problems happening. Um, I've been trying to pray to God and ask for wisdom, and here you hand me a card that talks about coincidence miracles and how you're experiencing miracles. So I, I'm really delighted um, that I, I came to the park. I just got here, she said. Uh, and I was just leaving. I told her I was just on my way out. So was, that was very coincidental that I met her. But she said to me that her life this week has been a disaster. She's so stressed out and anxious. Uh, she's been praying. She said she's been talking to God for several years. She, she's a, as I said, she's about 25, 26. But she said that she has, you know, uh, been brought up to you know, ask God for wisdom and discernment when making decisions. And she's grown up with that and she's been talking to God and asking God for inspirations and wisdom about what to do for many years uh, but this past week uh, just seems like she's not hearing any wisdom she's not getting any wisdom things are crumbling all around her as a matter of fact she said she just came to this beach just now to just sit here and do nothing but try to discern what God wants her to do and she's very stressed out so she said she asked a few questions she wanted to ask uh, and she was, you know, pleased with the answers I was giving her. Uh, and then she said, uh, you know, uh, uh, I've been having real problems 
really being sure that God is talking to me this past week. You know, when I, in the past, I didn't have problems because I was asking simple questions, but these are serious, uh, life-changing questions that I'm trying to ask him about, and I, I need to be sure. So she said, how, how can you be sure, and how are you sure when God is talking to her? So I explained to her about the sections in our book and on our website. Uh, if you go to our website, you can listen to the audio book, and it explains uh, how you can do that. Uh, in the book of Judges, chapter 6 is the, one of the main ways. So if you remember uh, the book of Judges, chapter 6, and if you remember the book of uh, Genesis, uh, chapter 24, uh, those Genesis 24 also is a great chapter to notice how people ask God to show them that God is really talking to them. So if you want to know, if you want to be sure that God is talking to you, it'll help you to read Judges chapter 6 and Genesis uh, chapter 24. Or go to our website, uh, wcatradio.com slash miracles slash, or just Google the title of our book and you'll get a wealth of information. So just Google the title of the book, which is easy to remember, it's Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. One more time. One more time. Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. So uh, while she was telling me uh, a lot of the things she was telling me, she mentioned how very often she sees numbers. You know, she'll be praying to God about something, and she'll see a familiar number like 333 or 222. And she said that that often gave her peace because when she saw these familiar numbers, there were a few of them that were familiar to her. I think 333, 222, and I think 555 also, as I recall. Uh, they were familiar to her. So when they happened, it was a confirmation to her that, you know, f over several years, those numbers meant that God was talking to her. Um, and so she had mentioned that in the talk and uh, while we were talking. So I got inspired at that moment to say, you know, it's amazing you brought up numbers because there's a chapter in our book that covers the meaning of numbers. Uh, and if if you want, I'll tell you a, a really amazing thing that happened one day about numbers that might be helpful to you. Well, she responded that she would be very interested in hearing the story. So I said, okay, and I told her the following story, which may take a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, for, I'm asking you for your patience because it's really worthwhile listening to what happened at this point. So I began to tell her a story about numbers. I told her one day I was inspired by God to go to a park and spend some time talking to him and praying about some things I was trying to make decisions about. And he inspired me to come away and be quiet with him and listen to him as Psalm 4610 says. Psalm 4610 says, be still and know that I'm God. So when you want to talk to God and get wisdom from God, you need to focus on him and listen to him. So I drove over to the park and um, I was walking around in the park praying and there was nobody there. I was the only car. There were about 250 parking spots there. I parked right in the middle of the park and then I got inspired. It was time to leave. Eve. And while I was praying, I did say some of my rosary, uh, some prayers to the Blessed Virgin Mary, asking her to please deliver my prayers and my requests to her son, Jesus. And that's why people say the rosary. It's to ask Mary to deliver, you know, your needs to her son, Jesus. And history is uh, famous for that helping. Uh, so I was inspired. It was time to leave. And so as I walked to my car, an amazing thing happened. Another car drove into the parking lot and parked right next to me in this very large parking lot at a, at a park. And there was nobody there. And he parked right next to me, so I figured something's going to happen. must be a coincidence miracle. As I walked to my car, I noticed that his license plate was number 444. And that number in history uh, connotes the uh, holy name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and it also connotes the, the rosary. So I was just saying the rosary, and I just asked the Blessed Virgin to help me. So seeing the three fours was very providential for me and very coincidental as a miracle precisely for me since they, the car parked right next to me. So I was inspired to tell the man uh, what 4-4 four four meant, the three fours, and he said he didn't know, so I told him. He was delighted and, and ecstatic about it. He also uh, says that he says his rosary too, so you know this was really meaningful to him. And then I left, and I pulled out of the uh, parking lot, 
And uh, as I pulled out of the parking lot, uh, I turned, made a right turn, and the car that was on that road already in front of me had a license plate number, 444. I was, I was really uh, astounded. I just finished talking to a man who had three fours, and now that I leave, I'm in back of a car with three fours. So I was really following it, wondering and talking to God about why did this happen and what does this mean. And I think I drove for about a half a mile uh, babbling and, and being surprised that this happened. And I got an inspiration a half a mile down the road, turn around, go back to the park, and tell the man in the park what just happened. And I said, Lord, am I, the man is going to think I'm crazy. I you know, just told him a flabbergasting story, and now I'm going to turn around. And, and I got inspired. Trust me, Tony. Turn around. Go back and tell the man. So I did. I went back to the park. I pulled up, rolled down my window. He rolled down his window. And I told him, as I pulled out of here, I drove, and I was astonished that I'm, it was in back of a car with three fours, and I got inspired to come back and tell you. And the man looks at me, and like he got hit in the head with a two-by-four, and he says, Tony, do you know what time it is? And I said, no. And he said, it's 4.44 p.m. Now, I want to recap uh, some of this for you, uh, because this last story about the 444 license plate is really amazing. You know, I was saying the rosary, uh, talking to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The car comes in, parks next to me. I tell him what the three fours means, and then I get inspired to leave. Now I'm in the back of a car uh, for half a mile, and then I get back to the guy to tell him about it, and it's exactly 4.44 p.m. Now that meant that God had to orchestrate. Uh, the car that met me on the way out had to be orchestrated to arrive precisely on time. I had to follow it for half a mile for God to allow me then to turn around. Otherwise, I would not arrive back at 4.44 p.m. exactly on the nose. And so I told all this to the woman I was talking to, and she looked at me like she got hit in the head with a 2 by 4 because she said this to me. She said, Tony, now I know how it feels when God is talking to you because as you were telling me that story, I had the feeling of God talking to me through the words you were saying. And, and the reason is this, Tony. Today is Thursday, and on Tuesday of this week, with all of my troubles and problems, I was seeing the number 444, so I went and got a tattoo on my hand. Here it is. And she showed me her hand, and her hand had a tattoo, the number is 444. That's all that was on it. Now, I know this was a long story, but the highlights, which are miraculous highlights that we should notice is I was leaving the park. I had already passed out all the cards. I noticed a woman who was newly arrived. I was inspired to take the time and stop. She needed to know how it feels when you're talking to God and how can you be sure. And we spent time answering her questions. And then I was inspired to tell her about numbers because she mentioned how she was seeing numbers when she was telling me about her problems. And then I told her this long story about the man in the car with his license plate and the other car that met me on at the exit, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a long story, but you, you can see that the woman needed to hear all of this because God was trying to show her what it feels like when God is talking to you. And God was trying to show her how God is so intricately involved with sending cars to meet you at certain times and getting you to wait a half a mile before you turn around. And God is so precise that if you follow his inspirations, at the end of this story, now that I've told you, there's probably 10 specific coincidence clues in this whole story of you know both the car story and the woman stopping at the beach. There's probably 10 coincidence miracles that God was precisely, perfectly placing in front of my nose that day to say these things to this woman. And now she's a tremendous friend of God and has more peace in talking to God than ever. So I encourage you, maybe listen to this again. Go to our website and listen to this recording again. Uh, God bless you all. I'm, I'll talk to you next week, and I hope you are blessed with many coincidence miracles between now and next week.